So this, um, this particular um, image, this three-quarter profile, is one that we've seen um, a number of times. There was a painting produced from this original source photograph. There's a large silkscreen um, edition uh, series that comes from this particular image. This is entitled Self-Portrait Scribble Etching. And so if one thinks about um, the notion of uh, uh, breaking down an image, in this case, into 12 colors and 12 um, quadrants or, or um, distributions of, of, of colors, um, in terms of a, um, a, a learning tool, this is a brilliant portfolio. Um, what we have here, and, and I also want you to uh, uh, also play, pay close attention to the fact that the plate mark, which is this area here where the plate, when it runs through the press, it makes it, it's an impression down into the paper, uh, and then the ink is transferred onto the paper, and then it's left to dry. Um, that this, with the exception of just a little bit of this kind of rose tonality here at the base, this is the same as this here, okay? But do you see there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, um, a, a, an undertone there, this kind of rose undertone that is not evident here. But you'll see that the plate is, um, is bigger, the plate mark is bigger here than it is here. And that shows us that all of these plates were made before the addition was made, okay? So that's, that's very important to think about the physicality of the, of the plate. Um, and so you have Maybe this... Copper plates? Uh, I believe so, either copper or nickel. Um, and so you, again, you have this one-to-one, -one, and then this plus this equals this, right? This plus this plus this equals this. And so it gives you that, it gives, and so on and so on and so on, until you get down to the very, very end, all the way down here, where this, the final piece, equals this. All of those. Mm -hmm. This is the original, right? Well, this is the one that made up the, uh, there was a subsequent edition of 60. Okay? And so, um, so you have, um, you have the, um, you have this whole portfolio that shows you every step of the process. So it shows you, if we get to the point where there's, um, where there's um, an addition of 60, that that one sheet of paper has to receive every one of these plates 12 times in order to get to the finished image. And then you do that 60 more times. And the whole portfolio demonstrates the print process, not the original work of art. In other words, he didn't... Pre precisely, precisely. And there's only, there's 15 of these that were boxed and offered as a portfolio that, that walks you through every step of the process. And so there were two other images. There's a more straightforward portrait and there's, um, and there's, um, there's a, a scribble etching of Lyle that you saw at the, at the landing upstairs. So he did three of these scribble uh, pieces here. So I think, again, it's one of those, it's a, it's a great opportunity to see the process deconstructed. So it, in terms of a learning tool, it was great to have, um, we had the Lyle scribble etching um, when we did the exhibition at Davidson College many years ago. But it was so great to bring in our printmaking um, class and they were at that point were so used to having you know just cutting on one plate black ink and done okay well try 12 of these and registering it perfect every time and running it through